So today's gonna be a bit of a fun one, but also a bit of a weird one, I would say. We have the Angels here, okay? With one of the best players, if not the best player of the generation, Mike Trout. I know some people might not agree with that, but I mean, the stats literally just say it for themselves. So I'm not even gonna worry about those comments that are gonna be coming in. So the goal here today is rebuild the Angels, build a championship team around Mike Trout, and hopefully get them a World Series by, I'm hoping, 2023. If we can get there, uh, that's gonna be a W for me. But either way, if you guys do enjoy the rebuilds, leave a like on it, subscribe if you guys are new. Here we go, let's get into this. As you guys can see, the yearly goals to win the division, that's, I mean, for the 2019 Angels, might be a little bit hard. And the contract goal is to win the divisional series. Okay, the one thing that I'm absolutely very excited for though, is that we have the team budget of $205 million. The biggest team budget of any rebuild that we have done, I'm pretty sure besides the Giants. I'm pretty sure the Giants had, yeah, the, the Giants had 104, so. That $205 million is gonna work out very well for my plans, but here we go. Let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go, baby. Let's take a look at this team. So one thing that I'm not a huge fan of in MLB The Show is that they do not have two-way players, which, like, they need to add something for this, like, in the next couple of years, hopefully by next year, because, like, this is actually kind of getting insane because Shohei Otani was going to be a big part, a huge part, actually, of my DH and just overall roster, but the guy's stuck at the starting pitching role, which absolutely sucks, so I cannot move him around. I don't have a DH of him. There's no roster that I've found that has two, you know, Shohei Otanis because that would be kind of kind of dumb if you ask me, but either way. I did really want Shohei Otani as a DH and a starting pitcher, but it looks like we'll just have to handle him as a starting pitcher. Not that big of a deal, even though it kind of is, but whatever, SDS, it's fine. SDS out here making my job harder. It's fine, bro. I get it. I get it. I'm right, looking over this team. I see a couple, uh, couple issues here. One... Albert Pujols. I mean, I love the dude. I, I seriously do, but the guy's 39 years old. He's not going to be in the MLB for much longer. I'm guessing probably if I was him, I'd stay until 2021, get that $27 million, and then go ahead and dip. But uh, probably in the game, normally he retires after this year. So we're going to need a first baseman. That's going to be a huge thing. We got Justin Bohr. Some reason he's in AAA. What the heck? Like, add him to the MLB right now. Jared Walsh, I don't follow the Angels that much. If he's doing good, I'm sorry, but I'm sending him back down because I don't really know who he is. David Fletcher, though, at second base is going to be kind of a weird one. I don't really know how much he pans out. I'm pretty sure he gets to like an 80-something. I don't think he goes below. I don't think he goes below like 70, but I don't think he goes above like 82, so... I'll have to check on that later. Zach Cozart, I do like that. Tommy LaStella, what a beast. And then you got Andleton Simmons, bro. One of the best, if not the best fielding shortstop in the game right now. Not to mention, he's doing a little bit better hitting wise. I'm very excited for this. Justin Upton as well. Hopefully in the game, he bounces back because normally for me, he never does good in the game, sadly. But I'm hoping that he actually, you know, becomes his real self because in real life, the guy's a killer. Of course, Mike Trout, what do you guys know? Like I said, one of the best of the generation. I'm calling it right here. And Cole Calhoun. Again, Cole Calhoun's going to be kind of up there. I don't know if he's going to do good. I don't know if he's going to do bad. We'll have to see, but here we go. The main concerns that I see, though, straight off the bat, straight off the freaking bat, starting pitching is going to be a little bit rough. I can already tell. Matt Harvey, I mean, what the heck? What happened here, dog? What happened, dude? He had such a good career, and it just went away. And then relief pitching is going to be kind of a big thing. So we got to get those guys. And then catching, Jonathan Lucroy. Oh, God. Okay. That's a joke, by the way. All right, all you Jonathan Lucroy stands. I get it. It's a joke. It's a Diamond Dynasty joke. You guys should know that by now if you watch MLB The Show. Okay. Why did I turn Russian? That was freaking weird. Okay, either way, let's just, let's fix this team, dude. Let's fix this team. First thing I need to do is get that bag, bro. I need to get that fat bag. We gotta get some of these sponsorships in here. Of course, we're gonna be doing the ones where it's like 20K per win, 20K per game. The most we can get per game is gonna be 60K if we get a win. So that's gonna be quite a bit of money if you guys ask me, but either way, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Once we get to about today, you know, June, I got somebody in mind that I feel like would help the Angels tremendously and hopefully, and hopefully they do go out and get him. I highly doubt they will, but still, I do really hope they go out and get him because the guy, like, first off, deserves to be on a team. It's kind of dumb that he's not. He can officially sign a contract without any draft pick pulls, but that's going to be Dallas Keuchel. So once we get to about June 5th, 6th, I'll go ahead and sign Dallas Keuchel. Also, by the way, completely forgot about my scouting department, so we had to restart, but we got it all squared away now. But, uh, yeah, it might have been a good idea for me to restart. As you guys can see, we're positive, bro. We're above 500. Let's go. If you guys call that cheating, then, I mean, I'm a cheater. But, like, I, I seriously needed the, uh, the farm system. I, I was way too excited. I was way too freaking excited, so I didn't get any, and I mean any prospects going, so... 
We had to redo that. There we go. Welcome. What's good, boys? All right, we're back. We're back. Again, call that cheating if you want, but legit, I needed this to happen. So it's for the best. We just had to do it. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. What are we going to do? We got a lot, and I mean like five left fielders that are going to be studs. So get that out of the way. Shortstop, I mean, I don't really want a long-term project, not to mention the guy's 21. I'm good, bro. We got a first baseman who's also going to be kind of a long project. He's freaking 45 overall. He's going to be ready by 2023 plus, so we really don't know. And then there's only one starting pitcher who's going to be kind of a beast. Okay. Then again, his walks per nine are only going to be above average. If you guys do not know, walks per nine for some reason are the biggest thing in this game. Makes no sense, but it's the biggest thing. So it looks like I'm kind of forced into the uh, into the left fielders. So here we go. Let's try to find a stud real quick. Juan Ruiz, bro. That's kind of kind of a tongue twister for me even though I got a short tongue as you guys can see that's all it goes that's how hard it goes it literally cannot move farther than that so I don't know what the heck's going on but Juan Ruiz there we go just gotta say it slower Jesus we also got Alfonso Ramirez oh my god yep all right found him found him boys there it is Alfonso what's good papa what's good dude what the heck is that that guy's definitely kind of a stud not gonna lie all right now it looks like we're gonna have to go for a little bit bigger of project so like 2023 plus it's looking like it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get anybody below that sadly so again i would like to get a picture but we oh my god never mind hold on wait a second the scouting's about half you know what bro if he's half the player i think he is this is gonna be a good deal like legit his control's insane velocity's insane break is gonna be good arm accuracy and arm strength are actually kind of big the walks per nine are gonna be elite apparently the freaking hits per nine are gonna be well above average. What's good, Alex? Like, Papa, huh? Honestly, bro, I kind of feel like we got two stud muffins. That might be a little, little, you know, but still, I feel like we got some good guys. Herb, let's go, Herb. Herb Christie, I do like Herb. He's looking pretty good. His fielding's gonna be well above average, but everything else kind of dips a little bit below that. Hitting's gonna be well above average, at least contact-wise, but his power dips below that. I mean, speed's decent. I mean, again, it's gonna be quite a long thing, though. He's 21. So by the time he gets to the MLB, he'll be what, 26? Roughly, for a third round pick, I don't think that's the best guy to go for, but I don't think there's anybody else better than that, bro. I really don't think there's anybody else better than that. There literally isn't. God dang it, okay, Herb, what's good, Papa? Let's go with Herb. Sometimes with these, you just hit them out of the park and sometimes they're just not as good. I hate to go for these guys that are super long projects because again, if they literally go till 2023 plus, they're gonna be like 27 by the time they make their own B debut. And that's not a prospect anymore. That's some depth, okay? So it gets a little uh, gets a little rough by that time, but still. I legit might have to just start taking some of these guys that I do not have any scouting on because I gotta take some chances right here, like Richie. I might have to take a chance on just because of the stat line, but then again, it could be completely false. I could be getting freaking swindled. I don't know. I'm gonna have to start taking some chances here because I do want a couple good pitchers. If my boy Tim Hernandez that was in the last round, I'll go ahead and get him, but other than that, I gotta get some more pictures, so Richie, what's good, dude? Hopefully you're not freaking garbage. Oh, come on, Giants, come on. You did me dirty like that, really? I was gonna pick him too, three picks away. God dang it, okay. What is it, round five? Yeah, round five, okay. I'm thinking now that we go towards, maybe go towards a relief pitcher. Brad Lind, I mean, again, don't have much on him, but still, the guy looks pretty good besides that, so hopefully he is this good. Let's just go for him. And then for the sixth round, I'll go for somebody that I have just a little bit of green on. So here we are. What's good? Okay. Who's like a younger guy that I could go for? Rich Pena. I mean, oh, okay. Sylvester Gall or Sylvester Gall. Again, I mean, his injury risk is high. Never mind. He's going to get fatigued like a mud. And then Rich Pena. Let's just go for Rich Pena, dude. Honestly, honestly, after that. But either way, the 2019 draft is done. I feel like we got some decent picks. Hopefully they're, you know, Hopefully they don't suck. Here we go. All right, Alfonso's an A, and it's 74 overall. Oh my God, okay. Let's see it. 90, what, 91 only? I've been swindled, dude. This is freaking stupid. I was thinking surely 95 plus, but all right, dude. Alfonso, 91, he's still gonna be good. He's a 74 overall. Legit, if we wanted to, we could put him in the MLB tomorrow, but either way, it's fine. Alex, this dude is huge. Freaking 6'5", a lefty. Let's go, Alex, let's get it, baby. Herb, was good with you? Again, Herb's only 50 overall, but hopefully he'll be here before 2023 plus because I don't want this dude being like 26, just chilling, making his own B debut because that would not be good. And then I got swindled on the last two guys and I'm not happy about it, but whatever. We'll sign him up just for a little bit of depth. So yeah, there we go. All right, how's everybody doing today? Simmons, fantastic, except for the home runs. But then again, not much of a home run guy, so I'll let it slide. David Fletcher, 
Yikes, dude. Okay, we gotta do something big for David Fletcher. Hopefully he does a little bit better before the trade deadline because I wanna keep him, but if he doesn't, the man's gonna freaking get smited by my freak. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. The man's gonna get freaking smited off this team if he can't do a little bit better than that because I got some high standards for this guy and hopefully he actually meets them. Mike Trout, is it really a question? The guy's doing phenomenal. Justin Upton, doing really good actually. Our Pujols, again, the guy's not playing that many games. He's freaking 39. I'll let it slide just for another year because he is gonna retire after this year, sadly. Jonathan Lucroy, actually not doing too bad. I don't mind it, but then again, I would like to get a better catcher. Zach Cozart, yikes, dude. And then Cole Calhoun, actually doing not bad. Not bad at all. 276 with five bombs, not bad for freaking June. Okay, let's move past one day and let's go ahead and get the man, the myth, the legend, Dallas Keuchel if we can. There he is, perfect. Okay, I did see that Craig Kimber was gone, so I did get a little bit scared, but it looks like we got Dallas Keiko right here. Let's sign him to a three-year deal for what? For what? $22 million? Sounds about right. Let's go for it. Roster's full. Okay, that's a freaking, that's a yikes. Who can we get rid of, actually? Hold on. I don't want to get rid of any of these guys. I need to get rid of, like, a depth guy right here. Sam Freeman? I mean, he's actually not bad. Okay, not going to get rid of Sam Freeman. Hold on. Matt Ramsey. The guy's 29, 60 overall. I'm sorry, Matt. Like, legit, if he's good, I'm sorry, dude. But we're going to be getting an upgrade, so I got to go for this. All right. Dallas Keuchel, welcome to the squad, my boy. All righty. Dallas Keuchel on the team now. That's definitely going to help the pitching a lot, like, quite a bit, because the pitching right now is a little rough. Shohei Otani's not doing the hottest, so we definitely need some pitching help. Jesus. Okay. MLB. There he is, baby. Dallas Keuchel's official an angel i really do kind of hope that they get him though like legit now we kind of have an issue though since we do have dallas Keuchel, we got to get rid of somebody i'm thinking i mean matt harvey probably has to be it right i mean that's a big contract not doing too hot i feel like matt harvey's gonna be the guy that we got to get rid of so all right matt harvey where you at let's go let's see if we can even try to get prospects for him highly doubt it but let's see Ooh. huh what the heck? Okay, um, I could go for Anthony Santander. Don't really think I'm gonna go for him though. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for Josh Stowers because he's 22, a 57, B potential. Not to mention he's $30,000 when Matt Harvey's 11 million. I mean, I don't care if I'm getting ripped off. I'm saving literally $11 million. I can already tell the budget thanks me for that one. Jesus. Okay. Again, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do for Shohei Otani. He's not going to make it as a pitcher for me right now. I would love to put this man as a DH and just let him hit because again, his hitting stats, phenomenal. But no, they need a two-way option. They need a freaking two-way option in the game. It needs to come soon. Also, I'm sure a couple of you guys are wondering about the farm system. Uh, Joe would Dell, in my opinion, at least in LB the Shell, not saying in real life, because again, some of you guys get confused, and I'm not gonna point names, but legit, some of you guys get confused about the game in real life. Joe Adele, in this game, never pans out good for some reason. Every single franchise that I've done for rebuilds, I've looked at this guy, he's always had like a 205 average. The best he had was like a 250, so probably gonna be using this guy as a trade piece for later, once we get some other guys, and, uh, but either way, we're gonna be putting him in double A, see if he does good, and, uh, We'll go from there. Also, I do have Andrew Heaney down in AAA. I would love to give this guy a spot on the MLB team, but I just don't know who the heck I'd send down, to be honest. Probably a guy in the uh, in the relief pitchers. Probably Justin Anderson. There we go. Move him down. Let's bring up my man. All right, either way, let's go ahead and sim to the trade deadline. Let's go ahead and hopefully get some upgrades for this team. Again, pitching, bullpen, catching. That's pretty much the three I want to get this year. All right, we should be getting some offers pretty soon, hopefully, if these guys want any of my guys. Never mind. They don't. All right. Sick, dude. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna be money ball on this thing for a second. I'm thinking that we have to go get Omar. Because legit, every single franchise I've seen this guy in, besides like a speed rebuild one time, this guy's always been a beast of a catcher. Not to mention he's a beast of a catcher in real life. His fielding kind of sucks, but besides that, the guy can hit. So I feel like he'd be a perfect backup catcher. If not, hopefully taking over. I don't know. I mean, I need my dude's fielding to be up above a 43 to take over this thing, but... You know what? Let's see what happens. I'm going after Omar. 15 minutes later. I'm over it, dude. I'm actually so over it, dude. I'm actually so over it. I thought we ended up stopping at July 30th. Instead, we stopped at the 31st. And I just completely forgot about it because I was worrying about other stuff. And we pretty much just simmed the day past the trade deadline. Like, what the heck, dude? That's gonna... That's not good. So I guess for year one, we're not gonna be doing anything. For year two, though... We're going to be changing so many different things. So here we go. Let's just hop into year two or hop into the free agency. That was my bad. I'll take that one. All right. I'll take that one. That's the first time I've ever done something like that. I got to wake up or something, dude. What the heck is happening? All right. So the Angels actually finished off 72 and 90. Not the best at all. I mean, the pitching and the uh, and the slugging were not so great. So I'm going to need to change that for next year. Again, 
going to be looking for. Like I've said many times, first baseman, pitcher, bullpen, catcher, probably a better DH than Zach Kozar because he had a 195 average. Like what the heck? Real quick though, we got to go through everybody. Simmons, I'm going to keep him on just because that fielding, I mean, he, he can hit pretty good, you know, honestly. Simmons put up a 267, actually it's not bad for this guy. I don't mind this whatsoever because his fielding is untouched, so we're definitely going to be keeping him. David Fletcher, I mean, again, the guy hit 15 bombs, but not really that great of a year that he put in, so hopefully he does a little bit better. If not, going to have to trade him. Mike Trout, of course, did good. What do you know? Justin Upton, of course, did good besides the freaking average. What the heck happened there? Justin, Jesus. Again, Jonathan Lucroy did not do bad. I'm not going to go ahead and roast him, but... uh. But yeah, we're probably definitely going to be getting somebody new and somebody a little bit better. But it's going to be a sad offseason because I can almost guarantee that my man Albert Pujols is gone after this offseason. Let's go ahead and sim through the postseason. What the heck happened here? The Rays won the 2019 World Series. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go, Rays. Let's get it, boys. What the heck? All right, but here we go. As you guys can see, here we go. Retired players. Oh, God dang it. There he goes. Albert Pujols. Bye, dude. I'll see you later. God dang it. I mean, the good thing is we get to save like $50 million on his contract, but still we're going to be losing on him. So it definitely does suck. But you know what? He's in the Hall of Fame now. He's on to bigger and better things. Goodbye, my boy. All right. All right. So now we got the exclusive free agents. So we got Trevor Cahill. I'm going to be starting from the back first. Didn't put up that bad of a season, but then again, we're going to be getting so many better people. So I'm good, bro. Goodbye. Jonathan Lucroy. I'm going to probably be keeping him just because I do want to have him as a backup catcher if we do ever get one. So... Gonna have Jonathan Lucroy as a backup catcher. 3.6 million. I'm down for it. And then Cody Allen. The guy, uh, the guy did decent. All right. The guy actually did decent. If he's already on the team, why the heck would we get rid of him? You know, it's just one of those type of things. So we'll freaking keep him. We'll freaking keep him. Okay. We got to get better hitting coaches and better pitching coaches. What's going on here, mate? All right. Hopefully both these guys sign up. I think they will, but if they don't, they're freaking dumb. Okay. Wow. He actually didn't. He is stupid. Okay. I gave him like an insane contract. I gave him like $2 million above what they normally get, but he decided to go to someone else. All right, bro. All right. I get it. Like I said, once again, now, hopefully these guys will sign. What the heck, bro? I've given this dude $6 million a year. They get two roughly and they're not signing. What the heck? Am I that bad? Is this team that bad for them not to want to come over to us? Come on. We're not bad. We got Mike freaking Trout. You can work with Mike freaking Trout, boys. For this one, I'm not going to give him as much money because honestly, these guys are dumb. Free agents. All right. My blood pressure is already skyrocketing. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So like I said, we got something big here. The Angels have a budget of $205 million, right? We saved quite a bit of money last year because... Well, we didn't really do anything big. And uh, and now I'm thinking that we got to do something big of free agency because I feel like the 2019 free agency, the Angels are going to do something big. So I hate to do this because I've already got Madison Bumgarner and two other rebuilds like of recently. We had him in the Giants, even though we traded him away. But we also got him in the Reds and we actually won with him with the Reds. So I would hate to do this again. But I feel like Madison Bumgarner is a huge help to anything that the Angels have. If there's anything that I feel like the Angels should do this year is trade for this guy if they actually want to win this year. So Mad Bum, I'm going to be signing him up because he's not very expensive considering the Angels. And we're going to just see if we can possibly get him. So 80 million over five years for an A spot. We should be able to get him. All right. The next guy that we are going to be looking at, we're not going to be getting any outfield help just yet. But we are, of course, looking at Anthony Rendon. This guy, this freaking guy. Don't even get me started. I'm not going to lie. As a Rays fan, I'm hoping that they can get this dude as a rental just for a little bit, just for half a season. I'm hoping they can get him because my dude would put us into the playoffs. That's all I'm saying. Now, but for real though, Anthony Rendon is one of the biggest difference makers on the field. So a thousand percent going to try to go for him. Again, we got quite a bit of dough in that good old bank account. We got quite a bit of money to spend. So why wouldn't we spend it? Anthony Rendon hopefully will be coming to the Angels in 2020 because that would be a huge step up above our third baseman right now. So Anthony, come on, bro. Come on, please. In the first base, I'm going to be going with Justin Smoke because once again, Justin Smoke is a beast and he's underrated. I'm going to go for Justin Smoke. Let's hopefully get him. $4 million, 1,000% we can get him. We'll give him five because again, we're rolling in that dough. All right, so like I said earlier, we're going to be money balling this thing, right? I said that earlier. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So we're going to be getting the guy with the highest on-base percentage for the catchers. Right now, though, it's Francisco Cervelli. I'm still going to be looking. I highly doubt it's going to be Alex Avila. Wow, that actually might be higher. No, it's not. Okay. I'm freaking out of my mind. All right, let's take a look. 
Keep looking. 383 is what they gotta beat. 383, I highly doubt anybody's gonna beat it. Yeah, 100% nobody beat this. Yeah, nobody beat it, okay. So that means Francisco Cervelli is gonna be our starting 2020 catcher, let's go. And now we've crossed starting pitching off our list, hopefully with Mad Bum. Third base off our list with Anthony Rendon, hopefully. And now we need that bullpen guy. Let's go for a couple geezers. Will Harris, freaking 35 years old. Hopefully he'll come to us. Hopefully, like I said. Also, since I did see a big issue with only having righties in the bullpen, we got to go with Will Smith because this dude's like one of the best lefty freaking bullpen guys in the game. So we got to go for him. Again, hopefully he freaking signs because if not, that's going to be kind of rough. Let's see. Okay, yeah. He'll, he'll sign for us. 100%. All right. I put it out there. Hopefully, one, we can afford everything. And two, and okay. I did all of that for nothing. I hate this game so much. I completely forgot. I got to make freaking room. Dope, dude. Okay. Just going to be releasing a couple of these guys. I did all that for nothing. Freaking sick. Anthony Rendon again. Hopefully, he'll sign for us. I'm pretty sure he will, though. 100%. There we go. Hopefully, he does. Will Smith as well. Got to get him once again. Again, hopefully he signs with us. If not, I'm going to be freaking sad. Uh, Madison Bumgarner, same thing, bro. I'm going to need you to sign with us this instant, okay? Name on the dotted line, please. And is there anyone I'm missing? Never mind. We got Justin Smoke. We're, we're chilling there. Actually, I think I'm missing... There we go, Francisco Cervelli. Perfect, got him. We're good now. Hopefully we can actually sign these guys without any issues. Bank account, don't mess me up. There we go, Will Smith, welcome to the squad, baby. Round of applause for Will Smith making the right decision. Anthony Rendon, again, round of applause. Making the right decision, that's what I'm talking about. And then Madison Bumgarner, once again, guys, round of applause, making the right decision. Let's get it, baby. That is everybody that we needed, let's go. That legit already puts us from like here all the way up to here. What the heck is that? Did I get bit? Yo, am I gonna die? Who's biting me? I got freaking bit by something, dude. What the heck? Freaking nature's rude, dude. To the bug that freaking bit me, all right? I'm gonna Liam Neeson you if you don't relax. Because like he says in the movie, I will find you and I will kill you. Okay, bug? You better chill. Also, since we did sign a lot of those guys, we actually are in negative with the cash flow for right now. I'm sure it's gonna fix itself, but still. I would like to fix it right now just a little bit so we're not going negative. So I'm gonna be... Getting rid of these guys for some prospects. Hopefully some pretty good ones. Oh my God, they actually are pretty good. So I would go for the one with the Padres, but the issue is Miguel's 25 and Trey's 25. So the Rockies, what's good? We'll go for that one. All right, so there we go. The cash flow fix itself. Let's get it, baby. And uh, we're actually killing it right now. As you guys can see, 11 and three starting off the season. We're first. First in the AL West. Let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep that up. Yo, how the heck did this happen? We're 20 games above 500 at the draft right now. Now, granted, it's not the end of the year just yet. It's freaking June. It's like the first couple months into the season, but still having this good of a season at the beginning is insane for me. So very happy with that. Also, where the heck are the blue chips at? We have one. Are you serious? I guess that's just what happens sometimes. That's kind of annoying, but either way. Right now, Guy Rosario actually might be the best guy to go for because, again, he'll be ready hopefully by next season. That's the ETA on him. He's 23 years old. The guy's a killer already, as you guys can see. The scouts are actually like 75% accurate on his stats right here, so this guy's actually going to be insane. Let's also look around just a little bit more at like maybe some of these guys. Jordan? Nah, I think I got to go for uh, I think I gotta go for Guy. There we go. I go, we don't have any top 50 prospects in the right field category, so let's go and go for him. Hopefully he is a top 50 prospect. I think he is. I think he's a beast. So pretty sure we're out of round two because we spent so much freaking money. Yep. There we go. Okay. Round three, baby. Round three. Barely got anybody left, dude. It is freaking thin pickings over here. Let's go for some, uh, let's go for some bullpen guys. That's definitely going to help. All right. So we could go for Castro. The guy throws a 98 mile an hour heater, or we could go for Kevin who might be just a little bit better. Actually, no, Castro's got some really good control. And if he can control that 98 mile an hour heater, I'm going for him a thousand percent. So Castro was good, bro. Again, there's barely anybody here. What the heck happened? Scouts, what am I paying you so much money for? There's barely anybody here. Oh my God. Thousands of tears later. Okay, I don't think we got that good of a draft. I'm going to be honest. But then again, I mean, if you guys look at the scouts that I have, we're paying them so much money. 3.4, freaking 2.5, 3.3, 1 point or 2.1. Like we're paying them a lot of money, right? Paying them a lot of money. Not to mention, never mind, we can't even see it anymore. But scouting was on auto. So we should be getting all these guys ready and going. But for some reason, no blue chips except for one of them. And I'm not going to be taking a closer first round because that would just not work out very good for me. Again, the draft was not bad, but I was hoping for an A potential. We didn't get it, but we got close to it. 
So, whatever. It's fine. I'll definitely take these guys, but was hoping for a little bit better. Was hoping for a little bit better of just draft picks, but he's fine. He's fine. Whatever. How the heck is everybody doing here, though? Simmons, not doing good hitting-wise, but fielding-wise, again, a freaking Greek god. David Fletcher, actually doing pretty good. He's above what I thought he was going to be. I did not think he could get above an 82, but the guy proved me wrong. He's an 84. Let's go. Mike Trout, killing it. What do you know? Anthony Rendon, killing it. What do you know? Justin Smoke, killing it. What do you know? Justin Upton, doing decent. Yo, I got an idea. I got a freaking idea right here. This could either make or break this entire thing. All right, so we'll go ahead and do it at the trade deadline. But if we could pull this off, if let's just say if I could pull this off, this is going to be, we're going to be in contention to winning so many more games than we already are right now, which we're winning so many. But if I could pull this off right now, this is going to change this entire organization. Let's see if I could actually do it real quick, though. Let's take a look at the prospects. You guys might already know what I'm doing real quick, but hold on. Where do our guys land? 22 is the highest and 50. 22 and 50? That's it? No, there we go. 10. I completely missed Alfonso. I was about to say. Where the heck was Alfonso at? All right, so we got three guys. 10, 22, and 50. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. Ooh, this is gonna be good. MLB gods, please be with me on this one. Please be with me. I need this guy. I need him. All right. We're not gonna be making the same mistake. Trade deadline today. We're gonna be making some deals. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Joe Adele. Goodbye, my boy. I'm sorry that we had to do this to you, but it's for the greater good. I'm gonna need a direct line to the White Sox right now. What's good, Aloy? Okay. This could possibly work. Once again, like I said, this could possibly freaking work. We would have to get rid of some of these guys, but like Andrew Heaney's not doing too good. I'm not going to be getting rid of Shohei, but still, he's not doing too good either. What the heck would I have to do for this, bro? What would I have to do? I don't want to get rid of the entire farm system like that, dude. Okay, got it. Again, I don't like getting rid of the entire farm system, but sometimes, sometimes, it's probably the one of the best things that you can do for a guy like Eloy Jimenez. The dude is 23 years old and is already almost a 90 overall. Like, the dude is going to do insane things for us. So we might as well just take advantage of it, you know? Why not? Is there anybody else that we could get that's like a B potential? Maybe like Alec? God dang it, probably not. We can get Jimmy, but he's 25. Let's go for Connor. There we go. All right, I'll go for that one. So Eloy Jimenez, welcome to the squad. Joe Adele. These guys, I'm so sorry, but we had to do it. We legit have to do it. That looks so good. That looks so freaking good. So Aloy Jimenez, Anthony Rendon, and Mike Trout. That is so stacked up. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to the end of the year. Let's hopefully make it to the postseason. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'll say it. Oh, lol. <laughs> What the heck is this? You're telling me in 2020, the Angels are 10 games above the Astros in the AL West. Okay, dude. That's what happens when you add these beasts to your team, bro. Also, David Fletcher's an 87 overall. Let's go, David. Let's get it, dude. But like, dude, are you serious? Are you legit right now? Let's keep it going. Let's try to win 100 games this year. I think we will. We literally will. Wow. Oh my gosh. gosh. Wow, dude. 103 and 59. Won the division. Going to be taking on the winner of the wild card game. Let's go. Who made it into the wild card? So the Astros made it in and the Yankees. God, all right. The number one and two teams going to be facing off against us. Oh my gosh. All right. Don't like that at all. The Indians and the Red Sox are also in there as well. Oh my gosh. Real quick though, let's go ahead and see how everybody did. Anthony Rendon killed it, dude. 27 home runs, 86 RBIs, and a 310 average. Let's go. Simmons actually came back. Let's go. Mike Trout did very well once again. Aloy Jimenez actually did fantastic. This guy's going to be a beast at only 23 years old. Just killing it right now. Justin Smoke as well. 30 home runs, 100 RBIs. For a guy that literally we paid $5 million for. That's disgusting. Justin Upton as well, killing it. Jonathan Lucroy didn't have that great of a season, if I'm going to be honest. And Cole Calhoun, you know, not, not great, but the home runs were actually not bad, but still not that great. Pitching rotation, let's go. Okay, all right, Shohei, relax, dude. 5.13 on the ERA, that's horrible. Masson Bumgarner, though, 229 innings pitched, 194 strikeouts, and a 3.13 ERA. Let's go, Andrew Heaney, not bad. Again, would like to get that ERA down a little bit, but still not horrible. Tyler Skaggs killed it. Let's go. And the Dallas Keigel, disgusting. Let's get it. All right, let's get into this. What are we going to do here? It's the Yankees. Oh no. Okay. We literally have to face the number one overall team in the MLB in the divisional series. Like what the? Okay. All right. Let's just get this thing going. Shohei Otani versus James Paxton in game one. I probably should switch that around. I probably should have Mad Bum going up first. All right. Lefty on lefty. Let's go. Oh my god. All right. Well, lost that one. Shohei Otani versus Jordan Montgomery. Come on, dude. We won that one. Wow. Okay. Andrew Heaney versus Mashiro Tanaka. Let's go. Lost that one. All right. Massive Bumgarner now versus Luis Severino. Come on, dude. Come on. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. 
We need to get a little bit better on the pitching end, and after that, we'll be fine. So that's good for 2021. I wasn't expecting to win a World Series by 2020, if I'm being honest. Like I said, 2023, that's the goal, and we just did fantastic this year. So I'm very happy with how we did, but we'll get better. Also, we do have two very big issues here. All right, so we got two very big issues here, and I don't like it really at all. We got Simmons here. He's going to be hitting the free agent market. Don't like that whatsoever. I got to keep him because that defense is insane. Hopefully, my guy will sign a three-year deal because that's all I'm going to be able to do. Justin Smoke, he absolutely destroyed everything last year, so I'll give him another contract. There we go. Jonathan Lucroy probably will not. Yeah, not going to be giving him a contract. All right. Francisco Cervelli? Eh, why not, bro? Yeah, he did pretty good. All right. Cervelli's getting another contract. He'll probably finally start. Zach Kozar, he pretty much bounced back after a horrible 2019 season, which I do love to see. So 3.4 though, I don't know. I don't think we do it. Nah, let's not do it. Okay. And then Cole Calhoun, we're good. We're good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. All right, looks like we got Tyler Skaggs back and it also looks like we got, okay, we got Simmons back as well. Let's go. Exactly what we needed. Exactly what we needed. Let's go. Now again, the big thing is going to be pitching. So what the heck we're gonna be able to do here? The two guys I think we go for, I think we go for Brad Hand because again, we got quite a bit of dough. So we'll try to go for Brad Hand. I highly doubt he'll actually sign with us. Hopefully he does. If not, we'll go with uh, Sean Doolittle. And then Liam Hendricks because Liam Hendricks is probably gonna be the best guy for our money. So we'll go for him. Only for two years though, not that big of a deal. Yo, Alfonso Ramirez could be making his debut next year. Wow, okay. That would be insane if he actually does it. And then Guy Rosario as well could be. Make his own B debut next season. I'm gonna go ahead and move Alfonso over to right field though, real quick. Does that affect him at all? A little bit. That affects him by three, but not that big of a deal. Okay. Either way, let's see if we get some of the guys that we need. Oh my, we actually got Brad Hand. How the heck did that happen? I thought for sure he was going to the Indians. The Indians got Doolittle. Okay, wow. And I'm pretty sure we also got Liam Hendricks. Oh my gosh, we did. Okay, yeah, that's huge. That's huge. All right, so this year in spring training, we're going to be seeing Alfonso Ramirez for the first time. Hopefully he does good, and if he does do good, he's going to be our starting right fielder. So come on, Alfonso. You got this, baby. Let's go. All right, so we finished off 15 and 14. How did Alfonso do? Come on. God dang it, dude. Oh, man. I wanted him to do good. I really did. He might not be 100% ready just yet. So we'll keep him down for a little bit. And we'll see what happens after that. But everybody here, these these freaking four guys, five guys even, six guys even, just so good. So, so good. We also had a couple of these guys. Richie did fantastic. The 19-year-old hurler. Can only throw 86, but still. And then Riley Pint. How did he do? Not bad either. Let's go. Second overall in the MLB. Let's go, dude. We officially rebuilt the team first off. We rebuilt the team for Mike Trout, so you're welcome, my dude. 12 years, making freaking almost $40 million a year. That's insane. That's freaking nuts. But Mike Trout, I accept cash. I accept credit cards. I accept PayPal. So, you know, whenever you're ready to send me 5%, you know, maybe 10%, that $40 million a year, you know, I'll, I'll be ready for it, dude. All right, let's get this here started. Hopefully we do good. I think we will. If anything, there's a couple of guys that will just upgrade it pitching wise. But other than that, we are set and ready to rumble for 2021 and hopefully making that World Series finally a reality by 2023. So come on, 2021 is going to be it though. I have a strong feeling about it. A few moments later. <laughs> 350. 350 on the average. No wonder we're doing good. Like what the, we're literally getting carried. Everybody, all eight other guys have jumped in this man's backpack. What the heck? And hallelujah, we finally have Shohei doing good. <sighs> Thank you. Jeez, it took long enough. I've never seen Shoei Otani get to a worse start. Also, right now I got a bit of an idea, right? I got a little bit of an idea. This could be either be a fantastic idea or horrible. Either way, we're gonna find out at the trade deadline and hopefully it's a good one. All right, here we are. So now that the pitching staff's actually kind of clicking and doing phenomenal, actually, I kind of figured we need one guy. And if you guys can see it, that one guy is gonna be a catcher. We've been having troubles with catching for literally the entire time. We haven't been able to get a guy that I really want behind the dish. Like again, Jonathan Lucroy is great for right now, but I'm thinking he'll be better as probably a backup guy, right? Francisco Cervelli just... I mean, I thought this guy was going to pan out a lot better. Maybe the money ball strategy doesn't work all that great like I thought, but either way. So I got an idea for a catcher that I think would be probably the best guy to go for. And of course, it's going to be Gary Sanchez. So if we could possibly get him, like not so much, he's $4.4 million. Like he's still in arbitration. Like, come on. If we can get him, that's it. Like, that's it. I'll, I'll retire. I'll retire after that. All right, so we have to get rid of Kevin, which I don't really like doing, but again, for Gary Sanchez, it might be it. We have to get rid of Ty and then Brandon Marsh. I feel like that has to, I feel like we have to do that. We have to do that, 100%. There we go. Gary Sanchez is on the squad now, let's get it. Now, Francisco Cervelli is gonna be getting traded off to another team. Let's go to the Twins for him. I feel like Blaine's gonna be actually pretty good, so we'll go for him. 
There we go, perfect. Beast check, top to bottom. Simmons, beast. Rendon, beast. Mike Trout, god. Gary Sanchez, beast. Aloy Jimenez, beast. Justin Upton, very good. Justin Smoke, very good. Alfonso, I mean, for his first year, not doing too bad, but not a beast just yet. And then David Fletcher, again, not gonna call him a beast at all either, so we're good. Beast check, top to bottom. Shohei Otani, I mean, you know. If he was hitting, beast. Madison Bumgarner, beast. Heaney, beast. Skaggs, beast. Keichel, beast. Let's go. All right, let's just keep this thing moving. I'm excited for the end of the year. Oh, here we go. Again, I don't think we're going to be getting another 100 win season, but we're going to come very, very close. If not, we might actually get 100 wins. Wow. Okay, we did it. There we go. We're just two wins off. Let's get it, dude. Won our division back-to-back -back years. That's what I'm talking about. And we're going to be facing either Houston or Boston. Of course. Let's go, dude. All right. Real quick, let's go ahead and see how these guys did. Simmons killed it. Let's go, Simmons. Rendon killed it as well. Mike Trout, a mate. 341 on the average for Mike Trout. That's insane. Gary Sanchez destroyed it. Eloy Jimenez, besides the average, did very well. Justin Upton, as well, very good. Justin Smoke, very good. Alfonso actually did not do too bad. There we go. For his first year in the MLB, pretty good. I like it. And freaking Taylor Ward came out of nowhere. Only nine games, but still. And the pitching, how are we? Shohei, not too bad. But then again, I mean, he's got to do better than that. If I could just have this dude DH, all my problems would be fixed. Like, legit. But no, I can't have a two-way player. Bumgarner did good. Freaking Heaney did amazing. Tyler Skaggs did very well. Freaking Jamie, huh? What the heck? Let's go, dude. This team officially is rebuilt. Let's go. Okay. Who are we facing now? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Boston. Yep. What do you know? All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Okay. Shohei versus Bauer. Again, I don't want Shohei pitching the first game. I'm going to be honest. I want my dude Bumgarner. So, Bumgarner. Bumgarner is pitching the first game. Let's get this thing done. Here we go. Bumgarner, get it over with. Boom. Pop. That's what I'm talking about, dude. All right. Shohei versus Rodriguez. Okay. Lost that one. Dude, Cody Allen. What the heck happened there? Heaney versus Chris Sale. <laughs> okay. All right. Heaney versus Chris Sale. Won that one. Wow. That's huge. That's actually pretty huge. Skaggs versus Richards. Lost that one. Of course, it comes down to this. All right, let's go. Bauer versus Mad Bum, though. And we're at home with this offense that we have. I feel like this is going to be good. So hopefully I don't jinx myself here. I wish I was kidding when I say that it literally like what the yo bum garner. Get out of it, please. OK, four run inning. Yeah, sick. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Solo home run. Let's get it. Let's get it going again, guys. Let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Came right back, came right back and took the lead. Get out of here, Boston. <laughs> Let's go. OK, we still got to be careful around the top of the order. There we, I think we should be all right. There we go. Perfect. Come on, guys. Let's get this thing moving. I'll let bum garner go one more. Come on, guys. Give him a run. Give him an insurance run, please. God dang it. Come on. Jesus is super good against lefties, so we cannot put that in. Let's go with Liam Hendricks. Sounds good. All right, Liam Hendricks. Come on, baby. Come on. Get out of it. Get out of it. <sighs> okay. Benintendi, please don't do this to me. Liam, god dang it, dude. All right, Brad Hand. <sighs> okay, guys. Oh. What do you mean? Six runs in the top of the eighth. Come on, guys. Just try to come back a little bit. Okay, two guys on with one out. There we go. Bases loaded. Come on, Aloy. Pitching change. Come on, Aloy. You got this. Pop out. God dang it, Justin, please. Are you serious right now? Am I seriously going to have to redesign this entire pitching rotation? Are you legit? Because I don't want to at all. At all. I don't want to. Again, the hitting is 100% fine. We're, we're chilling with the hitting. The pitching, though. How many years until Shohei Otani is a free agent? 2023. Okay. We won't need to worry about it. Honestly, dude, I think that was just a flute game. I don't know what that cap. Our pitching just... They just choked. That's it. They literally just choked. There's literally nothing I could do about that. So I'm not going to change anything because it still works. I'm just hoping that we have a better year next year. So that's all I can do. Either way, I don't need any upgrades. I pretty much have made everything all good. So we're not going to worry about it. And uh, I'm just a little scared that the Red Sox are literally stacking up. But besides that, we're good. So we're just going to go ahead and hop back into 2022. Okay, coming into 2022, first overall in the MLB, third in contact, fifth in power, first in pitching, first in defense, and 11th in speed. We got this, okay? We got this, please. All right, come on, guys. We officially rebuilt this team. Let's get this World Series dub. Let's get it. All right, so I've tried and tried and tried to get this dude to work out for me, but Shohei is never going to work for me, all right? Sadly, we can't put him as a DH, I've said many times. So 
we're gonna be going with somebody different. All right, we're gonna be trading him away. I know it's insane to think about Shohei Otani on another team, but legit, it has to happen. Like, we can't keep doing this. This is the best deal that I could find. So Shohei Otani and Parker Bridwell for Aaron Nola, Sir Anthony Dominguez, and Ramos. So I get we're gonna be losing a lot of money. We're gonna have to do a bunch of, you know, budget things that we're gonna have to make a lot of money back because literally losing 500K, so. We're gonna be doing that, don't worry. But we just had to get that done. Like if I'm trying to win a World Series, we just had to get it done. Next thing is Justin Upton, gotta get rid of him. And I guess he's going straight to the Phillies too. Wow, okay. We're gonna get Cornelius Randolph, but still, I mean, we just need to get this thing done. So there we go. Made the huge comeback, legit making 417K now. So we're good now, we're chilling, all right. Perfect, that's good to know. But now we're all good. Like I said, if I could have Shohei as a hitter, I would 100% keep him. I can't though. It's literally impossible, so whatever. I've given him pretty much three, four seasons to try to fix it. Hasn't fixed it at all, so I had to move on. I will say, though, it's going to be hard for the Angels to win a World Series in real life, even if they have this good of a team, because the spot that they get put in, in the playoffs, is almost impossible to get through. We didn't even make it. What? You're telling me we didn't even make it? We, get, we lost by a game. One single game. How do we not win above 95? What happened? What what went so wrong where we didn't win above 95? It is absolutely nothing from the offense. The offense did fantastic. The pitching's good all the way through, except for Jamie, but still, that's not that's not absolutely horrible. I mean, the fifth guy is normally always not gonna be as good. I mean, how did the bullpen do? I mean, Justin Anderson, not good. But besides that, good. What? Okay, this entire year is just out there. This entire year is just weird, dude. So, somehow we didn't even make it into the postseason in 2022. Not gonna worry about it. 2023 is going to be the last season, though, of this rebuild, so hopefully we can get something done because I feel like we definitely should be able to get something done here. So here we go. So again, not going to be making any free agent moves because, again, we really can't. We've kind of built this team perfectly fine, so don't need anybody from the outside. Again, heading into the last year of this rebuild, I'm feeling 100% confident that we will win this entire thing because we have the team to do it. Like, it's not like... We're going in with a, you know, top 15, top 10 team. We're literally the first overall team. So I feel like we have a very good chance of winning this whole thing. The only problem will be getting past the ALDS and then seeing who the ALCS guy will be. All right, so at the All-Star break, I don't know what the heck is going on, but we're literally, what, eight games above 500? Like how? Legit how? I'd love to know. I want to know this game's reasoning on this, like 100%. How the heck is this happening? We have two of the best hitters right now with Aloy and Gary Sanchez, not to mention Mike Trout's killing it. Alfonso's doing pretty good. Justin Smoke's actually doing pretty good. Is it pitching? Why is everybody doing horrible pitching wise? Madrum's got a five spot on the ERA. Why did this entire thing just change? Everybody just switched up, what the heck happened? All right, we're putting Richie up here and we're gonna be designating Justin Anderson because he's horrible. Then also gonna be doing the same thing with Riley Pint, gonna be designating one of these guys as well, or at least sending somebody down, probably Jamie. So let's send him back down. There we go. All right, there we go. Came back just a little bit, but still, I don't even know if we'll make it to the postseason. If we don't, I'm gonna be amazed. It's gonna cut close, it really is. 95, 96, there we go. All right, we won our division, so we're good there. We finally are able to face the Indians, a team that's not the wild card team. As you guys can see, Alfonso Ramirez absolutely is just a beast now. Like, he's officially grown into a swing and everything. He's killing it. Andleton Simmons, again, has always done good. His feeling's insane, even though it's regressed a little bit, but still, he's very good. Mike Trout. Again, every year, he's done fantastic. Just look at it. Every single season since 2019. Actually, his entire career, he's done amazing. Aloy Jimenez officially broke out this year. He's on 99 overall, as you guys can see. Gary Sanchez as well broke out. Let's go. Anthony Rendon killed it. David Fletcher, eh, not too bad. Guy Rosario, not too bad either. That average still needs to go up a little bit, but still. And then Justin Smoke killed it once again. As long as the pitching will do good, we will win, win, win. Let's go. Nola versus Bieber. Come on. All right. That's not a good start. Bumgarner versus Musgrove. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bounce back, baby. Bounce back. Heaney versus Clevenger. Come on. All right. Don't like that. We have to play these games now. All right, dude. Sick. All right. It's Skaggs versus Lance McCullers Jr. I feel like we got this in the bag. I don't want to like, I don't want to jinx anything, but I feel like we'll do all right. All right. Never mind. They scored two or scored three. Sick. All right. So if Skaggs gives up one more run, I'm going to pull him 100%. There it is. Or two. Sick. All right. Cam's actually done pretty good this season. So we'll go ahead and put Cam in. Again, Lance is for some reason just completely killing our hitters. Now it's Trevor May. Or never mind. Now it's Josh James. Come on, guys. Hit, please. 
I can't believe it. I literally can't believe this. Like, sometimes it's meant to be, and sometimes it's just not, and it's not meant to be. So, I hate to end it like this. I really do. But, like, the what the heck, dog? What the heck? Look at this team. And we choke every postseason. Like, I wish I was kidding. This thing's gone on for two hours. I've been trying to fit this team perfectly for two hours. I feel like I've rebuilt this team and did a very good job. Almost to the point where it's completely unrealistic to have these many stars on one team. And we still couldn't get it done. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. But either way, you guys might be wondering the reason why I'm not going to do another season is really just because if you guys look, yeah. We have Aaron Nola, Tyler Skaggs, Will Smith, Liam, Heaney, all these guys going up. So pretty much I would just have to fully rebuild again and wait another five years and try to go for it once again. So I'm not going to be doing that. That would take another two, three hours and it's already been two. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below what other teams you guys would like me to do and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.